this is a short introduction how I create a worm. A worm is uh, a part which has an outer skin and an inner skin of this kind. So, and I have created uh, this one as a NURBS with uh, a script. In this way, I define an outer mouse and an inner mouse. These are these two ones, this here and this here, and the ends, uh, the the vertices of of these polygons are the poles where my nerves to face starts. These are the commands to to create these polygons. And the next thing what I do is I use this polygons and create a set of poles. Shown here. And on top of these poles uh, the worm is created. So it's uh, not easy to see that this is uh, an object with an, a hole inside. So I have calculated the ribs of the worm. Uh, and here you can see the inner and the outer one. These all are U ESO lines of the nerves and the ESO lines in the other directions I have called meridians. These ones and both build something like a grid for the skin. And we can see here the inner and the outer ones and also we have the same for the meridians. Bec the meridians go from the mouth to the end and back to the mouse. So, okay, next what we can do is, uh, this is the, the worm. I hide the meridians and the ribs and now I can use a cylinder and use it to catch the worm. So, and the operation after this catch is that I want to get a cut at the difference. So, and we see the difference here. Okay, once again, the ribs and the meridians. So, this is the complete worm and the k commands are these two lines here I create the poles for the segments this is uh, the coordinates of these two mouse polygons and I add here some noise and here is something like a rotation of the worm and here another kind of noise so at the end I have this this form and we can add uh, another worm or we can we, we can see another worm with 66 segments this is one with uh, 36 and I load it So it will take some time. Now the big worm is here. That's all. 